Michigan Magazine is kept on the road by our many Michigan friends. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare, a winning combination. Cops and Donuts. Experience the beauty, artistry, and taste of Northern Michigan. Come to Amish Country Natural Products on Mount Tom Road, north of Mile, just off M33. From arts and crafts to fresh foods and vegetables, all natural, all local, all good. Stop by and get acquainted with Amish Country Natural Products, 1454 North Mount Tom Road, Mile. Something special is cooking hot and delicious. Indulge yourself at Morning at Maggie's in Bay City. Omelets, frittatas, hotcakes, and more. Make every day special with a stop at Morning at Maggie's for breakfast or lunch on Saginaw in Bay City. On this week's Michigan Magazine, we're on the road heading to the third most beautiful lake in the world. Torch Lake is the destination in Michigan's gorgeous Northwest Lower Peninsula. We're on our way to Alden, Michigan on Torch Lake to the famous Alden Millhouse, home of culinary carving artist and spice creator, Chef Gino. Here, Chef Gino puts a whole new spin to playing with one's food, welding his knives to create food that looks as good as it tastes. He loves what he does and is fast to share with his growing lot of instructional videos. Now with spring in the air, our thoughts turn to the all-American sport of baseball and our beloved Detroit Tigers. Even though you'll be hard to press to find a Michigander not in love with the sport, you will find many that'll say it just isn't the same with the passing of the voice of the Detroit Tigers, Ernie Harwell. As the season begins, we salute the era of Ernie with our last visit with this Michigan icon and his wife Lulu at their Fox run home. Ernie shares one of his favorite baseball stories with us and gives gives a heartfelt thank you to those Michiganders who vicariously made him a part of their extended family each year. Plus, today's Phrase of the Week will give you the chance to win some great Michigan prizes. Stay tuned, it's all coming up on Michigan Magazine. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare, what began as a crazy idea among nine police officers to purchase the historic Clare City Bakery quickly became an international phenomenon, carrying out a Michigan tradition with delicious donuts, pies, pastries, breads, original coffee, and more, plus a full menu at the new adjacent Traffic Stop Diner. Downtown Clare, a winning combination, Cops and Donuts. The Michigan-made rebounding mailbox pole. Never again worry about the winter snowplow taking out your mailbox with this ingenious rebounding pole. Your mailbox takes a hit and keeps coming back year after year. Call now or visit their website, toughmailboxes.com. Hale Hardware, your do it center at Hale, Michigan. Much more than a regular hardware store, providing everything you need for whatever your project is, along with a knowledgeable sales staff to get her done. Serving Northern Michigan since 1946. Hale Hardware, south of M65 at Ainsley in Hale. Northwestern Michigan has always been known for its natural beauty. This part of our state seems to draw like bees toward flowers, those with artistic inclinations. There are more artists and craftspeople in this area than you can shake that proverbial stick at. And I tend to believe it's because the natural, physical, simplistic beauty has not been allowed to be corroded by the unappreciative developer. In this area of the state, you'll find tightly knit villages and hamlets whose community fathers are very conscious of the beauty and inspiration that surrounds them. As a tourist, you're made to feel welcome, but when you leave, you're kindly expected to leave the area as natural as when you found it. And Michigan Magazine had every intention of doing just that one bright autumn morning. We set our sights on northwestern Michigan's Antrim County, the home of what has been labeled the third most beautiful lake in the world, Torch Lake. We arrived at Torch Lake at the village of Alden, one of the small, beautifully kept villages I mentioned. Wonderfully kept shops line both sides of the small business district, a perfect setting that always begs to be explored on foot. As we passed down the sidewalks, the autumn leaves were falling, there was a bit of a nip in the air, and the pumpkin trees were in full bloom. Uh, wait a minute, pumpkin trees? That's right. Was this a figment of my imagination? No, those were pumpkins. If it's not natural, knowing we're in northwestern Michigan, it must be the work of one of those artist types. Our curiosity aroused, we explored this property, which was a part of a neat little shop called Alden's Mill House. Here we discovered the artist in charge, who just happened to be an award-winning culinary artist, Chef Eugene McLaughlin. Chef Gino, as he's affectionately known by, expresses himself artistically by carving food. Here, specifically pumpkins. No, not your everyday jack-o'-lanterns, but pumpkins of character. Well, I was a chef at Shanty Creek for many years, and uh, I just got a little tired of, of doing uh, 
triangles and decided to skin the, the pumpkin down a little bit and uh, start actually sculpting. Mm -hmm. I've done uh, quite a little bit of uh, culinary art and uh, won a lot of awards and, and uh, prizes in uh, international competition. So it just seemed uh, a shame to just continually uh, copy the, the same old jack-o'-lanterns. Uh -huh. And so I developed a, a new form, and uh, that was about uh, 25 years ago. All I use is a large knife to skin the pumpkin, and then uh, just a paring knife to follow through. And, and a paring knife is all that's needed, plus a little food color and uh, white paint for details. But uh, generally, that's all you really need. My goodness, now how long would it take you to, to, to uh, construct something like this? Well, uh, they average about a half hour to 45 minutes. Really? It, yeah, doesn't take long at For all. For a tail like this. Yeah. Now, how long do they last? I mean, uh, you've got to caption them on. About that long. <laughs> about that long? <laughs> no, they last, they last about a week, yeah, uh -huh. in general. Yeah, Some, sometimes they surprise you and last two weeks. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. It's touchy to, uh, uh, you, can, you can easily go through uh, in the eye area and in the in the mouth area, mm -hmm. uh, those, those would be the the narrowest part to the center, and that's where the uh, uh, in, uh, the end result comes when when it starts to mold. Uh, it'll it'll hit in those areas because basically it molds from the inside out, and there doesn't seem to be anything you could do to prevent the molding, except a, a light spray of. Uh, Lysol sometimes it will help, but mm -hmm. that's about it. And it's best to capture them on film while you can. You bet. Is it difficult to learn or to teach someone? No, it, uh, it really isn't. It, it's just a matter of uh, uh, being able to handle a knife because you can, you know, you can cut yourself mm -hmm. with, uh, uh, with a knife if you're not uh, mm -hmm. uh, used to using one. And mm -hmm. uh, almost anyone can do it. Uh, I don't advise children to, but you're right. And they're the ones that are dying to do it. <laughs> exactly. What type of pumpkin? Is there a certain pumpkin that's just prime for uh, carving like well, that? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, this is a pumpkin, but this is a squash. And the squash is a little better than a pumpkin. It's a little uh, uh, meatier, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I uh, like doing it. This is a Hubbard, a Hubbard. and you can find them in a, in a bright orange that uh, outclasses the, the orange pumpkin. But uh, the main thing with the pumpkin is, is the uh, heaviness. If, it, if it's a nice heavy one, it has a, a denser meat. And sometimes the pie pumpkins, the smaller pie pumpkins, have more meat uh, ratio than, than the larger ones. Mm -hmm. I like to use those. Chef Gino's culinary carving techniques have become so popular that he's even had to produce a how-to instructional video on pumpkin and other vegetable carving. Ah, but Chef Gino's forte is not only that of culinary carving, but his years of working as a chef at quality restaurants has yielded other artistic culinary abilities. A visit inside the Alden Mill House will prove that. Here on display is a line of original blends of spices. Chef Gino has developed under the Pepper Mill Spice Company label and marketed throughout the Midwest. A definite taste of Michigan that can be duplicated. We have our dips here that we uh, manufacture are quite popular. They make anywhere from three to six pounds of dip each bag. No kidding. One of these little bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have, that's our Best very bullshit. famous uh, dill dip. We have garlic and chives, honey mustard, fruit dip, taco, Ooh. mesquite, and Goodness. We have French, picante, uh, jalapeno. We have a uh, very delicious. Uh, uh, coleslaw dressing. Oh, wonderful. Now, yeah. now, these are all your concoction out of your head, out of your yeah. combinations. And, right. uh, yeah, these, uh, these are, uh, are very popular items for us. Mm -hmm. And we have Torch Lake Honey. Mm -hmm. a very popular corner right here. Mm -hmm. It is. is. Dessert after this is dessert enjoy after their the dips. snacks over here. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Wow. <laughs> is there any secret uh, combination that, uh, as far as a ranch dip? or is You think it, I'd uh, tell you? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I was hoping, <laughs> but uh -huh. we try to we try to go as natural as we can with uh, our seasonings. Especially, we have no MSG in the se seasonings, and they're all uh, uh, what we call supernatural. Mm -hmm. A trip through Chef Gino's establishment will uncover every spice you'll ever need, including rich cinnamon and the exotic yet most flavorful Malabar pepper.
The Alden Mill House and the Peppermill Spice Company are a fine example of what a person will be able to find along Michigan's back roads. Here we come to visit the world's third most beautiful lake, Torch Lake, and discover a unique culinary craftsman and master chef and find a community alive with hospitality and enthusiastic optimism for the wonderful life they lead. As a matter of fact, during our visit at the Mill House, we were visited by another culinary artist from just across the street. And yeah. this is the town of hospitality. What do we have here? From uh, the Muffin Tin, the is that? Muffin Tin. Is look at cool. here. Goodness, come on. Over. <laughs> look at this. I tell you, this is the town to come to. Look at this. Look. Oh, that's hot. That is hot. Wonderful. Mmm. Wow. She delivers. Goodness, <laughs> look at that. There you go. She works for both sides of the street. <laughs> I see. The muff uh, what kind of a muffin is this? Can this you is oat and topping, and this is lemon blueberry. Mm. Specialty oh, yeah. of the muffin tin they of Traverse City and Alden. Goodness, look at that. Yeah, they do a marvelous job. They right do. There. Ooh. Yes. See, I bet you can go good with that fruit dip, too. This is the place to come all in Michigan, isn't it? I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. It's a turn of the century type thing. Beautiful lake. It's, uh, what, a third most beautiful lake in the world, That's they right. say? Yes. Mm -hmm. Goodness. It's like... Uh, being on vacation and working at the same time. That's right. That's right. It's wonderful. True. Well, I'd like to thank you, Gene, for taking time to show us the, uh, mm -hmm. there's the mill house here and uh, what we could call the house of good taste. Mm -hmm. And appreciate that. We'll be well, back many, many times. We invite everybody on up here to the Alden area, Torch Lake, have mm -hmm. a good time. Mm -hmm. And you will not go hungry, I tell you that. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Thanks again. Okay. So off we went, leaving that wonderland of sugar and spice behind. With one final glance at those pumpkin trees, Michigan Magazine was on the road again. Maybe someday we'll get a closer look at that lake. Michigan Magazine is being brought to you in part by Rose City Drug, just south of the Rose City city limits at 2640 North M33, featuring a state-of-the-art, completely automated and extremely accurate computer-filled prescription process. Here at Rose City Drug, we're a family-owned and operated for over 20 years. We offer fast and friendly service, and we always take the extra step to make sure your needs are fulfilled. Rose Valley Winery on Beachwood Road in Rose City. See what thousands are raving about, creating a delicious variety of award-winning Michigan wines. Stop by and taste for yourself. The taste of Michigan is yours at Rose Valley Winery. MR Productions is the Michigan video company that provides its services for weddings, special events, documentaries, and more. Give us a call at 248 417-0030 and check out our website at memoraproductions.com. One of my favorite stories is about a fellow named Salty Parker. He was a ball player that the, the Tigers brought up in 1936 uh, from Toledo. He, he came up and reported to the Tigers at Old Brick Stadium. And they'd won the pennant in the World Series a year before. And uh, uh, Salty, the first day he reported, didn't get to play. And uh, he was coming out of the uh, dressing room. and. And one of the players said, uh, hey, kid, we're, there's going to be a banquet tonight. Would you like to go? And he's got nothing else to do. He said, sure, I'll go. And uh, the banquet was in honor of the 1935 World Champions. Uh -huh. And uh, General Motors were putting on the banquet, and they invited all the Tiger team. But only about the four or five showed up. And Salty Parker, the kid who never played a game, was one of the guys that showed up. Uh -huh. At the end of the banquet, the president of the General Motors got up and said, folks, we want to thank the Tiger players for coming, and um, because of their tenants, we want to award everybody from the Tigers who came with a brand new Chevrolet. So here's a kid who hadn't even played a game, and he gets himself a brand new automobile because he didn't have anything else to do, and he went to this banquet. Oh. Well, the next day, these old timers on the team heard about this, you know, that everybody that went there, yes. out of the 25, only five got Chevrolets. So He's the probably seen. 20 were a little bit envious. <laughs> <laughs> He's but probably the, seen. You got any more of these banquets? Them. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you mentioned radio and television. What's your favorite? I think in baseball broadcasting, most all of us prefer radio. Yeah. Because uh, we've got a facetious saying that uh, when you're on the radio, Nothing really happens until the announcer says it does. Uh, that's right. On TV, you can get by without the announcer. You've got good eyes, you can see the TV, and you know what's going on. 
on the radio, you can't do that. So mm. radio is a lot more fun because the announcer is, uh, is a uh, bigger force on the radio than he is on TV. Mm. The camera is a big thing on TV and the director. Yeah. You know, one of the reasons Michigan Magazine wanted to talk to you because we are, Michigan Magazine is a full family show. And uh, I remember when I was a kid, I know you always hear this, when I was a kid I used to listen to you. But uh, what would happen is that uh, my mom would be in the kitchen cooking, uh, I'd be in the other room, my dad would have the radio just cranked right up. So everybody, even if they listened to it or not, they knew that Ernie Harwell was on, that meant summer. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so every, the whole family got to enjoy that. Um, my wife, like I said, wanted to be here to see you, and I'm, we're going to try to get back and let her uh, at least meet you at some well, time. I hope, I hope that's will. okay. Be fun to meet her. Yes. And uh, we appreciate you coming, too. And uh, I think you're doing a great service uh, uh, with the Michigan Magazine, uh, telling the stories about people all around the state. Yeah, and that's why we love to come down and talk to you guys. Well, I'm glad you got Lula over here, too. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, she, if your kids were the here, big boss, you know, I'm just <laughs> hanging around. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's what my wife says. She says we're here to kill spiders and move the furniture. So right. <laughs> that's that's right. Well, uh, let me ask you something else. Is there anything particularly on your mind that I may not have asked the right question? Something that you'd like to let uh, the Michigan people uh, know about Ernie and Lulu, or or something special uh, in general? I think I'd like to let people know what a, a great life uh, Lulu and I have had together. And, mm -hmm. uh, without her support, I would uh, be nothing at all. And, of course, we owe it all to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, nothing we could do means anything without Him. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's our, our main focus all the time. And, and we look to God and trust Him for whatever might happen. But we have had a great life, and we've been uh, very fortunate to live in a great state uh, like Michigan. And for a little commercial, I might say that we've got out an audio book now that I oh. would like for people to try to listen to. It's, uh, it's called the Ernie Harwell Audio Scrapbook. I'm going to give you and Barry one to take home with you. All right. And uh, you've got to listen to it. You don't have to believe what's on it. But it's four <laughs> hours of uh, talk. Well, and what happened, script. no script, they sent a guy up from uh, Duke, the voice of Duke basketball and football, a fellow named Bob Harris, put him in a studio here and he asked me questions and we just went from there without any rehearsal or anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just have to take me the way I am and I hope uh, you two guys enjoy it and oh, pass sure it around right. and make somebody else listen to it. <laughs> Well, if you want to buy one, I've got to uh -oh. get that in. Uh oh, grab your wallet, Bert. <laughs> if, if folks want to buy one, it's easy to buy. You just go to eharwell.com. Eharwell.com. How to keep Harwell green. All right. All right. <laughs> That's a shameless plug, but I had to get it in. Announcing the Michigan Paddle Sports Directory, or one-stop internet connection at michiganpaddlesports.com. It's now possible to explore Michigan's extensive waterways like never before. Michigan Paddle Sports Directory is a comprehensive directory of canoe and kayak rentals and liveries throughout the entire state of Michigan. At michiganpaddlesports.com, you'll find a great paddling route, outfitter, store, school, rental shop, or tour guide. Michigan's great waterways are waiting for you. Make it an adventure worth remembering by first visiting michiganpaddlesports.com. That's all the time we have for this edition of Michigan Magazine. We are so thankful for you taking the time to share the day with us as we discover Michigan off the beaten path. We're looking forward to sunny skies, warm breezes, and amazing back road adventures. It's officially spring and we've still got the faith. Our next filming of Uncle Cliff's Kitchen at our Maytag Studio Store is April the 16th in Saginaw. We hope to see you there. Now here's this week's phrase of the day. The Tigers are loose in Detroit. You know the drill. 
Send it to us in a card or letter or email it to us at the addresses on the screen. Be sure to include your name, phone number, and address. So until we meet again here on RFD TV, let's stay in touch on the World Wide Web and catch us each morning on our SoundCloud. Have a great week. We'd like to thank all those that help keep Michigan Magazine on the road. Cops and Donuts Bakery, Downtown Clare, a winning combination. Cops and Donuts. Your northern experience is never complete without a stop at the historic Ma Dieters of Luzerne. Enjoy the ambiance inside or outside on a huge patio area. Order from the complete menu with entrees served hot, fresh, and good. Come experience Ma Dieters in the heart of God's country, Luzerne, Michigan. Club X Sales and Service on Mapes Road, west of Mile, your complete recreational vehicle sales and service connection. Visit their beautiful showroom of new and pre-owned ATVs, lawnmowers, power equipment, snowmobiles, utility vehicles, and more. Club X Sales and Service is also the home of the American-made Victory Motorcycle Line on display at Club X on Mapes Road, Mile. Luzerne Express Campground is the premier campground with everything to make your northern adventure complete. Modern and rustic campsites, equestrian campers welcome, a huge market with bakery and deli. Nearby RV, hiking, and horse trails, along with a complete canoe, raft, and kayak rental. Visit us online, then call for more information and reserve your spot today.